Mr. R is an 81-year-old recognized war veteran. With his long career in the military, Mr. R sustained a number of injuries, the most significant being a head injury. Mr. R is over six feet tall with a large build. After retiring, he became sedentary and gained weight, eventually developing hypertension and diabetes. He was prescribed antihypertensive medication and oral medication to control the diabetes. About three years ago, Mr. R started struggling with his memory and judgment, including writing a check for $40,000 instead of $4,000, driving into a parked car, and getting lost in his neighborhood in his pajamas. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia, although the doctor suspected it might be mixed dementia, given the cardiovascular risk factors and history of head injury. Despite the diagnosis, Mr. R continued to enjoy spending time in his workshop, listening to the radio, and socializing with friends. Since his dementia diagnosis, Mr. R has remained at home with his wife. Mrs. R has been actively involved in helping Mr. R navigate the dementia diagnosis and has managed his medical needs, administering medications, and monitoring his blood sugar. Lately, however, Mr. R's personal care and medical needs have become too much for Mrs. R to manage. Furthermore, the diabetes has become poorly controlled, requiring more frequent glucose monitoring and insulin. He requires more assistance with toileting and dressing and has become suspicious and easily angered. One time, he pushed Mrs. R away forcefully and she almost fell down. The decision was made to have Mr. R move into a long-term care home to best meet his changing needs. Upon moving to the long-term care home, he appears restless and suspicious. He tells the staff to go away and calls out for his wife. During personal care, he repeatedly asks for his wife. He appears disinterested in eating and pushes the food away. The care team meets to discuss how to best care for Mr. R, given his progressing dementia and changing circumstances.